Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. want to welcome you all to our weekly tutorial. No, it's not live today. I recorded this earlier because thank you, thanks to all of my wonderful customers and awesome team, I am um, lucky to be celebrating the Stampin' Up! annual incentive trip in Maui. So I thought we would do um, a Hawaiian inspired project today. Uh, a couple weeks ago, someone had asked me to share how to make a pop-up card that I had made from one of our team swaps. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get you switched over here. Get you upside down. All right, sorry, I'm gonna stand up and get this over here. All right, let's get it all adjusted and I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit closer. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna decorate the front of the card first. Our pop-up will be on the inside. So I've just cut a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11 and scored it at five and a half. And all measurements will be on uh, my blog today. And I'm using So Saffron. All right, next I have a piece of old olive. And I'm not sure, that doesn't look cut quite to the right size. I want this five and a quarter by four. So I feel like that's a little over five and a quarter. I don't know what's going on with that. My measurements were all off today. And then that should be, yeah, that's four wide. Just felt a little bit long. All right, and then I have a piece. This is from the Sand and Sea designer series paper. It's got all the fun little shells on one side, but I'm going to use the pink and yellow side. So let's see, I have some adhesive over here. Okay, we're just going to adhere this down. And I'm putting the yellow side on the left. Um, it doesn't really matter which side is which. Okay. All right, so we're starting with that. And then we're going to use the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set and dies. So this used to be a bundle. It's not currently bundled, but it is a beautiful set. We've done lots of cards with this. Um, but it's perfect for this card today. So... What I have done, I die cut a piece of um, Bumblebee cardstock using the bottom of our pineapple. So we've got that right here. And then I took this and I put it over a piece of So Saffron and then cut all the way around. So I've got a piece right here of So Saffron and I'm gonna layer those together because I don't want my colors showing through those holes. And then I cut a piece of old olive for the top of my lovely pineapple. And then I use this a little, this is my favorite one, the Aloha. So I cut an Aloha using Melon Mambo, just to save us a little time. So before we glue anything together, I'm looking for a pick tool or a piercer. Um, I'm gonna make sure that all the little pieces are out of the pineapple. Okay, I had a couple laying in there. And I'm going to sponge this. This is Bumblebee cardstock, and I'm just using Bumblebee ink. I'm gonna take a sponge dauber, and we're gonna just lightly sponge on here. You know, pineapple pineapples are not just solid yellow. They're kind of a... They can have browns and greens. They have different shades of yellow. So we're gonna just go with a, a little darker yellow over the lighter yellow. And let's go ahead and sponge our old olive too. I'm just kind of getting the tips here. 
of the greenery. Whoops, bent one up. Let's put that back. And then maybe a little bit in the center on these other tips. We're going to pop those out too. All right. This is one of my old ink pads. Okay. Whoops, look out. Pads going everywhere. Okay, let's pop these out. These have some little tips that are uh, cut, but they don't pop out naturally. So we have to kind of give that a little bit of the dimension there and pop those out. Okay, that gives it more of that prickly pineapple look and feel. All right, so I'm going to glue, use just a teeny bit, little, little teeny drops of Tombow going around our pineapple. So I wanna adhere this to the So Saffron piece I cut out. And I pre-cut it just to save a little time. All right, let's see if we can get this on here. Wind up pretty close to the edge. Okay, now I'm just going to glue this down. I'm not popping up anything because when we do our pop-up inside, it's gonna make it a little bit thicker already. So I'm trying not to add too much thickness to the card. So we're just gonna do a nice simple top or front of our card, and let's get our Aloha. Now you could overlap it. I'm gonna just add it right to the side because I really want it to pop out. I don't want it too busy over the pineapple. If I, did, if I had black, I would probably do that, but I'm a little worried that the pink will get lost above that. So we're just gonna give the pink its own little spot right there. Okay, so that's our front, super quick and cute. All right, now comes the fun part. We have got a piece of So Saffron, it's the same color as our base. This is four by five inches. So we need to do a little scoring to start. I am more partial to my scoring tool, so I love to use this. So I'm gonna line this up, just ignore these, they're not in place. We'll stick those down at the end. I'm gonna lay, line it up on the five inch spot and I'm going to score this at a half, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, and four and a half. And then that's gonna give me a, an extra half inch here and I've got a half inch there. Okay, all the scoring we need to do. So I'm going to start with one of those half inch panels towards me. I'm gonna fold this down, just accordion fold now. Back, fold it forward, backwards, and forwards. All right, then we're gonna make sure we crease all these score lines really well. All right, we've got a couple here. Let's open this one up and score that, or uh, crease it really well. Okay, so it should look like this. All right, so we have our two flaps on the, these two little small ones are the panels that we're going to stick down. So we need, you can use Tombow or double-sided tape. I'm just gonna use some double-sided tape here. And I'm gonna use some right here. Okay, we'll peel those off. All right. And I've got the sticky part right here. So my, my one, two, three creases are on the inside of the score line. So I'm just going to center it left to right and just slightly below the crease like that, okay? So if I leave it, it's gonna accordion out, but I'm going to close the card, all right? And it's going to stick, whoops, on that side. 
It makes it a little bit bulky right in this area because we do have several folds of cardstock. All right, we'll just make sure those are nice and adhered. Okay, so now we have this little piece right here, and this is where we're gonna put our fun pop-up elements. Okay, so we can adhere a few things first. Now you could leave it like this, put your pop-ups, and then that's the inside of your card. I like to do a little bit more on the inside though. So I just cut a piece of plain white to go inside here, but let's stamp first. And I think we'll use Our Friendship is Timeless. Okay, or I did that before. Let's try May Your Birth, Breast Rat, <laughs> I can't say it. We'll just use this one. Our friendship is timeless. So I'm gonna use some early espresso. All right, let's just stamp that there. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to glue this here. I'm gonna wait just a minute. I might do something else to that. I wanna think about that for a minute. Then for the top of our card, so I've I want to have a little scene kind of back here. So what I have is some more of the sand and sea paper. I love this side of the paper. This looks like it could be, it could be um, sea or water. It could be sky. And then this one, very clearly sand. So I want to have kind of a little beachy theme going on back here. So I'm going to glue this down first. This is just a four by four piece of designer paper. And then I'm going to take this one. We want it to kind of look like water coming up to the sand. And we're just tearing that one a bit. All right, I'm not sponging or anything on this. I'm just gonna go like this. Now I want to cover this little panel that's glued down so you can't see that. So it kind of looks like magic. All right, and then it's even got a little bit of water, you know, white where the waves are coming in. Okay, I also, if you want, you can add more elements to this to make it more beachy. I took out the Sailing Home set because it's got these three great birds. And I wanted to add, you know, when you're at the beach, what else do you see at the beach? You see birds, you hear seagulls seagulls flying so I'm just going to stamp some birds kind of up here using memento so my birds in the background can you hear the sound of the ocean and the birds seagulls crying I know you can close your eyes and imagine that for a second okay are you there are you at the beach all right I'm going to take another piece of white and we are going to stamp our palm trees, okay? Because what do you think when you think of Hawaii? You think of flowers, palm trees, beaches, all that lovely fun stuff. I'll post pictures later when I get home. Okay, so I'm gonna take my palm trees, but it has a lot, uh, I need a couple of colors and I can't just stamp that. So we're gonna have to use some markers. So I'm going to use Early Espresso just to do my palm tree trunks. Okay, and always color with the sides of your markers so you don't ruin the tips. And then I'm taking Old Olive and I'm going to just do all the palm fronds in Old Olive first. Okay, it doesn't have to go in a specific direction yet. We're okay just getting it all colored in on the side of the marker. Okay, then I'm going to take, this is Mossy Meadow. I'm just gonna do a little bit of lines kind of on the, the centers of the leaves just to add a little more color and texture. And then I'm gonna go back with my 
old olive and do a little bit of softening up of those. Kind of go back over them a little bit. It'll keep the color, but it won't be like super hard lines. All right, then we're gonna huff. <sighs> Just to make sure it's re-moistened. And then we'll give it a good stamp. Yay! All right, I want a little more color on my on my uh, trunks. So I'm using just a blender pen. I'm just using the color that comes out with the marker. It's not a lot of color, but I really only want a little bit of color. All right, and then I'm just gonna go back and blend just a little bit of the palm fronds, just to make them a little more filled in. You wanna do this before it dries too much. So when you're blending, think blend quickly. Okay. All right, now we're gonna die cut this, but I wanna leave a little bit of space at the bottom because it needs to stick into my, my little area right here. I don't wanna to lose too much of the palm tree so let me show you how you can die cut this without cutting the whole thing off. All right, so we've got our, our die cutting. Your big shot or your, or your stamp and your emboss and cut machine. So line up your dies with your image. I love how it's so easy to do this. All right, then your top plate is not gonna come all the way to the bottom. Leave a little bit of space right here at the bottom. Then run that through. You can run it all the way through. And I'll show you what that looks like. That is a well-loved big shot. I'm telling you right now, you can tell it looks pretty rough. That's my upstairs big shot. Okay, so when I pull the die off, we have our palm trees, our, our die cut up at the top, but not at the bottom. So I'm just gonna take scissors and finish cutting up on the, the edges here first. Okay, and I'm just bringing it down, finishing it down like that. Then we're gonna cut out that little center piece. So I'm gonna cut that down on either side, and then just cut it off right in the middle, right at the bottom of our trees. Okay, so now you can see I have my trees cut out, but I have a little bit of space down here. And that is plenty to put into our, our holder. Okay, now we are gonna need our double-sided tape again. Once, oh, here it is. And I'm going to just put this in here near the top crease on both sides of the inside. Now, if you were doing another card and you wanted something to look like it was floating, like you had butterflies, or I think the last one I did with the, was a whale card and I had the water behind, um, you would use just a little piece of the window sheet or the clear acetate. Uh, and then you would attach your image to the top of that, and then it looks like it's floating. My trees are not going to be floating, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm trying to find my piercing tool. Here it is. All right, so let's take this. We'll peel off our paper. And then I, I want to make sure it's not going past uh, my card. So I'm going to put it just inside. I want it to the left. Okay, I'm going to stick it down and then we're going to bring it up and press. Press our two pieces together real well. So you can see this is going to pop up and it has that great beach scene behind it. All right, so down here we have our friendship is timeless. I'm really tempted to do uh, another set of palm trees. Let's do it, why not? 
another set of palm trees down at the bottom. Okay, we're gonna do some olive and do this quick. So you don't have to sit through a whole nother session of this. Usually if I'm coloring a stamp, I try to do images that don't take too much coloring. If they're super busy, it just takes forever. But a little bit, a couple of quick colors is okay. All right, I'm soften that up just a hair. Okay, usually I'll wipe my marker off just a little bit if I'm mixing colors. I'm gonna put these kind of over on this side. Coming off, ooh, fancy. I'm glad I did that, I like it. Okay, let's do a quick blending while we can. Okay, blend our palm fronds. Okay, I grew up in Florida too. Palm trees are just something that are kind of way of life there. Okay, so we are going to glue this inside. And there's still plenty of space for doing, uh, writing a, a little note to whoever you're sending this to. Look, I even have, look, I have palm tree shadows. Isn't that cool? <laughs> you have palm tree shadows coming through. Okay, so who wouldn't love to get this card? Aloha, that says your friendship is timeless. With that beautiful little beach scene behind it. If you wanted, you could even add maybe you know a beach ball or if you have a beach chair or a sea turtle or you know you could even do another set of palm trees um whatever you want to do just stick it in here you just don't want too many layers but you could do all kinds of things so if you want to try this um just put it in the post under this video in the facebook group um if you're not on the facebook group make sure to join crew stampers forum and we'd love to see your example of one of these pop-up cards all right thanks everybody and uh, i will see you next time aloha